This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. <laughs> All right. We're on the heels, by the way, the night before they did, uh, in Charlotte, North Carolina judgment day. Oh, three. And on top yeah. of that card, uh, was a singles match for the world heavyweight championship. Kevin Nash would beat triple H by DQ. Uh, but he took some lumps along the way. So we're going to see a little face-to-face confrontation here. Mm-hmm. And, uh, Hunter's Hunter's pretty banged up. He's a little sore. We're going to track some of this promo. Thank you. Don't get too close. I said, I'm trying to maintain my composure, but I can't make no promises. What did you do last night? What did you do? Maybe you can't hear me. There's a speaker right there. What did you do? I'll tell you what you did. You got your ass whipped. Kevin Nash pounded your ass all over that building. You should not have that heavyweight championship on your shoulder. But you do. But you shouldn't. But you do. And you know what you did to keep that title on your shoulder? Look at me in the eyes when I say this. You picked up a sledgehammer and you hit senior official Earl Hebner in the chest with that sledgehammer. Does that make you proud? You feel powerful? You're some kind of bully? You had to do that to save your ass? I can appreciate that maybe but I can also appreciate the fact that you, Triple H, will wrestle tonight. Oh, man. Wait a minute, not after last night. Oh, man. Not after that beat, well, not after that match last night. See, Austin, a lot of people think that you're just a drunk. Oh, oh. I think you're just drunk with power. But let me catch you up to speed in case you missed part of the show last night while you were upstairs beating Eric Bischoff's liver into oblivion. Yes, Kevin Nash kicked my ass. But the fact remains, I am still the world heavyweight champion. That's true. Now, what that means is, that means around here, I got some stroke too. You see, and tonight, I'm beat up. Come on, run down, the champ has some stroke. You were saying? I was saying tonight, I am beat up. I am tired and I am not in the mood for any of your crap. So it goes like this. I'm not gonna wrestle tonight. And that's final. Wipe that stupid smile off your face. Yes, you will wrestle tonight, but because You see the sympathy on my face? The compassion emanating from my pores? Emanating? Because I feel your pain? I'm gonna allow you, Triple H, to pick your own opponent tonight. You can pick your own opponent tonight as long as that opponent is a former world champion. What? So that means your options Arcane, Shawn Michaels, oh, no. Jericho, oh. or Kevin Nash. Oh, who's he gonna choose? Man, pick your poison. 
Has he got to wrestle? It's a nightmare for the champion. A nightmare for Triple H. He, it, this is not right. He's in no condition to wrestle. Much less Let me get this straight. Former Let me champion. get this straight here. You want me to pick my own opponent. Did I stutter? As long as he's a former world heavyweight champion. You know, Austin, you should... Watch this, Tony. You know, Steve, what you should do is you... What's wrong? All right, okay, all right. You're on, you're on. I'll wrestle tonight, and I'll wrestle a former world heavyweight champion. Matter of fact, I'll wrestle the greatest former world heavyweight champion of all time. Uh -oh. I'll wrestle my good buddy, Ric Flair. What? What the hell? Oh yeah, Austin, and, and since you gave me the authority, that's the bottom line, because the game said so. Wow. So there you see, the stage is set. And I love at, it. Look at Flair. He's like, wait a minute, what? Very you well done. Austin cut eyes at Flair, and now it's all set, man. Look, wow. look at Flair, talking to him up the ring, like, wait a minute. What are you doing? Why are we doing this? That's tremendous. Man, Great fucking angle, man. When wrestling is fucking good, there ain't nothing mm -hmm. better, man. Yep. You're right. Don't get me wrong. Some of the shit we have to sit through sometimes on this show, eh, less than ideal, but man, yeah. when it's good, fuck, it's so good. Mm. I'm really excited. You're getting to see this because they, they keep this thread throughout the entire show. And we see some backstage interviews and then the match itself. It's these guess, guys would, would be promoting their own. We're going to track it here. Okay. What? Eric. What? Get up. Steve, I'm dying here. Just you can't die. It's Monday Night Raw. We got a show to run 50 50. You and me. I, I can't. I just need some time. No, we ain't got time. Oh, God. Steve, oh, come on. You got to feel better now. By the way, that's me and Eric last year at the comic book convention in Chicago. <laughs> When we had a three-way show, do you remember? Oh yeah. <laughs> Look, man, hamburgers, hot dogs, jalapeno peppers. I, I can't do this redneck diet of yours, man. I just, I can't. I've been doing it for years. It's worked wonders for me. You know what? What? I got just a thing for you. You got hammer last night. Hair of the dog. That's what you need. A little bit of the animal. I don't need no night. hair. I don't need no yeah, dogs. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think you do. I think. Literally every day of your life is hair of the dog, isn't it? Mm hmm. I mean, regardless of there's alcohol involved or not, it's hair of the dog in the Shivani household. Yes, it is. Yeah. I was just thinking of something when you, you talked about the comic con, uh, C2E2. Yeah. And we were backstage and Eric wasn't there yet. Yeah. And you turned to me and I'm thinking, I've known you for a while. I don't think I've seen you this mad before. You just, when you looked at me and you said, just, I just, what did I say? Like, hey, he's, he's fucking serious here. And I said, never again, <laughs> never again, <laughs> Kevin, that. don't you like, I, I understand where you're coming from. You didn't got to explain nothing to me. I saw what you did last night. You whooped ass. You beat triple H's ass all over that building last night. I saw it. I said that I saw it. I put a stamp on you. I know what you're doing. You're making a damn statement. So don't get worried. As far as I'm concerned, right now you're the number one contender. Do you understand me? Number one contender. That's saying a lot. As far as uh, your future goes, as far as I'm concerned, you, Kevin Nash, have the winner of the match between Triple H and Ric Flair. God. You like that? Nash has got the winner. So there you go. We've, uh, we've got Kevin Nash a rematch lined up. What a special shit this is about to be. Hey, I, I'm overwhelmed. I mean, this is the greatest thing that's ever happened in my entire life. You had the entire roster. I mean, there's four or five great world champions there. But instead, you pick me. Just like we talked about, the best 
versus the best man. I mean, right here or wrong. The man, I just, this is more than I ever could have asked him. I don't know great, how I'll ever be able to great, thank great, you. Great, great, great. <clears throat> I think you're missing the point here. I've expressed to you how sore I am today, right? How beat up I am. Yeah. Nash kicked my ass last night all over that arena. I was lucky to walk out with the title, okay? I've told you how sore, how beat up I am. I chose you not because you're Ric Flair. I chose you because you're Ric Flair. I chose you to stick it up Austin's ass. Now, we'll go out there, you'll talk a little trash, I'll talk a little trash, then you'll lay down, and I'll cover you. One, two, three, night off, we go home. Rick, don't worry about this, okay? Don't worry about it. Listen, you just lay there. I'll do the rest, all right? Triple H has got it all figured out, King. How many women over the years have told you, you just lay there? I'll handle the rest. Uh, none. Uh, how many do I wish? All of them. So what do you think of that, man? Rick's all excited. Oh man, this is more than I ever could have asked for. Mm -hmm. This is great, man. The best versus the best now tonight on raw shaping up to be, this is a, this is a very well done show thus far, isn't it? It really is. I mean, I think again, you know, we said when, when wrestling's great, it's, it's better than everything. And I think this is one of the better shows they put together because you do have this common thread and storyline going all the way through and you got some way would have been hall of famers. I mean, just they're on a roll right? and your main storyline through this whole show and what a show it's going to be, uh, triple H and Ric Flair and your main event coming up next. We've got uh, a little backstage segment that I'm going to try that continues the thread, dude. Who was their booker back then? I, Again, there's our guys, man. One of the more iconic commentary duos of all time. Probably the most identifiable, don't you think? Oh, there's without question. Yeah, good stuff, man. Look at them driving traffic to WB.com. Who tried to run over Goldberg last week? Bret Hart. That would have been my right hand vote. Rocket. Here we go. I'm not here to confront you. I'm here to talk to you man to man out of respect. And Rick, I'm here to tell you, you cannot go out there tonight and lay down for Triple H. I want you to hear me out. 15 years ago, you came out on TV and you told the world that you were the measuring stick, you were the standard that every guy in this business should aspire to be. And I heard that and I went out and spent every day for the next 15 years trying to reach that level. Look at Flair's lip quivering. That I did it. But I'm telling you, you know as well as I do, you're only as good as your last match. Do you? Do you really think I have it on a given day? Do you really think I can go out there and beat a guy like Triple H right now? Rick, you're still an H. You're still Ric Flair. I believe that. The question you gotta ask yourself is do you still believe that? I know you can do it. Tell me this ain't good TV, dude. It is good TV. It's great TV. And I, I was also thinking it doesn't take much to get an old fucker to cry, does it? When people talk about how important he was to their career and it's someone he respects and admires like that, man, he's just, uh, it's real to him. Oh yeah. And it comes maybe wait and tell us in a few minutes. Okay. They're, they're previewing the Ric Flair match, talking about what a big night it is, especially here in Flair country, and that it's a dream match. Mm -hmm. And we're going to see Ric Flair in just a moment. But first, Eric Bischoff and Stone Cold, we're going to track it. Hey, Jen, Eric Bischoff. How about a song bring it back? You got your ears on. How about you, Eric Bischoff? You got a copy? Bring it back. 
You got a copy? What you 20? <laughs> Get it and see me talk. Hold on, I got something else for you. It's a little bit better than that. Hold on, hold on. Make it feel better. How great is Stone Cold as an entertainer? <laughs> Dude, as an entertainer, second to none. You know what? I'm gonna talk quieter so Thank I don't you. upset your head. Thank you. You got a headache? You know the secret to a hangover? You, I'm afraid to ask. It's not the hair of the dog. That was kind of a little joke, okay? What I'm is gonna it? tell you. What is it? The truth? The truth. And Please. you can trust me on this? I need to trust you. Female entertainment. You kidding me? You need a woman. Oh. No, 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 no. Let me go you one better than that. You need a couple women. And that's going to make you feel better. It's going to lift your spirits up, among other things. You know what I mean? <laughs> not, not now. Yeah, it's going to make I promise you. You, you trust me. You trust me, buddy. Hey, girls. Come on in. Come on, girls. Come on in, girls. See you later, buddy. Oh, fuck. Get the hell. What are you doing? Look, get your saggy, smelly asses out of here, wrinkled up. Get out of my office! I don't want to hear you! I don't want to see you! I don't want to smell you! I just want to know you! Brian is a hell of a writer. This has to be his segment. Oh. God, why is he torturing me? Oh! Seeing Mullen, my young made me throw up! <coughs> Look at this, dude. <laughs> Getting hyped up, man. Main event coming up. Wow. Goldberg, it was Storm, the driver of the car. Okay. Sorry. One of the best promos ever. Here we go. Hunter. Hunter. Hey, hey, hey. Have you seen this thing about Freddy Blassie here with Hunter? I need to talk to you. Six months ago, man, you came to me one day, walking down the hall, you turned me around, you said, hey, whatever happened to Ric Flair? Whatever happened to the guy that I grew up wanting to be like? Whatever happened to him? And I didn't know, and I didn't have an answer for you. And you looked at me and you said, well, I want to see you get back on your feet. I want to see you get back, excuse the pun, in the game. I want to see you be a man again. I want to see you earn the respect of these fans that you won over each and every night of your career. You look at me and you said, Rick, I want you to be my partner, to walk out of with me. I want to say that I walk with Rick Flair. Not a has-been Rick Flair. And you know what? Tonight, I get my chance, and I know, I know you got a bad back. I know you got a killer match last night. I had a thousand matches like that, and I never, ever said I can't wrestle. I want you tonight. You may not be at your best, but you're still the game. You're the best wrestler alive today. And I want to test it. I want to find out if I still got it. And I'm going to find out. I'm not laying down anymore for anybody, anywhere, especially in Greenville, South Carolina. Be at your best. Rick Flair is coming after Triple H. Woo! Be at your best. Dude, son of a bitch, son of a bitch. You fired up for this main event now? Fucking a, I am man. We, we, you know what we're seeing in this show? We are seeing the things that have made stone cold and Ric Flair, both great. Absolutely. And you know, and, I know that you've said this a few times, but this is arguably one of the best two hours of wrestling of the decade here. Yeah. I mean, I'm sure there were other great shows, but everything on this show 
has told, I mean, you know, I, obviously you could argue, oh, well, the Rodney Mac match or whatever. Yeah. But still had a story to it. Absolutely. There was a story to all of it. It all fit together. And the thread of, of Stone Cold terrorizing Eric Bischoff and trying to figure out who hit Bill Goldberg's car. And then this whole Triple H, Ric Flair thing bubbling up underneath all of it. Just really, really a special Raw. Well, I'm having a good time. And you and I don't necessarily always have a good time watching some of this stuff. We try to make the best out of it. As yes. you- hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.